If we had selected sequential in the prior step, we would see an additional column appear. Let's go back and do that. I'll select sequential. This is the repeat count column. This number tells a Compact 3 how many times it should perform a particular motion set, no matter what the states are of the address inputs 3 through 6. No matter what, each move can only take place when the Compact 3 sees a state change from logical 0 to logical 1 at the Go input from the PLC. Let's look at an example. I will put 3 in at the repeat count for motion set number 2. The PLC sends a binary address of 0, 0, 1, 0 to input 6, 5, 4, and 3. This tells the internal pointer to start at motion set number 2. So the PLC then sends the first go input and we would do set 2 once. The PLC would send a second go input and we would do set 2 again. The PLC sends a third and final go input and we would do set 2 a final time. Now the internal pointer is automatically indexed to set number 3 no matter what logical pattern inputs 3, 4, 5, and 6 are at. The PLC sends a fourth go input and we do set 3 once. The PLC sends a fifth go input and we do set 4 once and so on. Now, if we have a 0 at the repeat count column for a given row, the Compact 3 will re-evaluate the binary values of inputs 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we could skip to any other set from here, but we will be paused until some binary address is read. In single positioning mode, a binary address must be present on inputs 3, 4, 5, and 6, followed by the go input for each and every move. In either position mode, if homing is used, a binary address of 0, 0, 0, 0 to inputs 3, 4, 5, and 6, followed by a go from the PLC, initiates the homing sequence. The homing sequence always takes place with the very first go input followed by a power cycle no matter what the state of inputs 3 through 6 are, as I had mentioned, following a power cycle. If you ever want to modify only the motion profiles, you can double click on position profiles folder under the configuration folder to come directly to this screen. You can then bypass all the other steps and only modify these profiles. To download only the profile changes, you click on the arrow in the top right hand side of the screen, then select download T11 profiles. Once this is done, you click the X to get rid of the screen, but this is only to be done when you have already downloaded the complete configuration. So now we would click X if we'd already downloaded the complete configuration or click next to go to the finishing process.